What's the best hot food at 7-Eleven? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. For our UK fans or anyone who wants to travel to the UK for a one of a kind experience, tickets are still available for our live concert in London on February 15th. All ticket info and all that stuff is at tourofmythicality.com. And for those of you living in any one of 17 assorted countries sprinkled across this planet, you probably found yourself under the bright fluorescent lights of a 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. which is where our mouths are going to today. Now, there is one very special section of 7-Eleven that's filled with foods that are piping hot mm -hmm. and often rolling in place on hypnotic yes. silver tubes of magic and protected by a glass case of sneeze residue and smudgy <laughs> fingerprints. But which of these 7-Eleven hot foods is worth your hard-earned dollar? It's time for 7-Eleven has more than Slurpees. Let's hope it doesn't flare up Link's herpes. Herpes has nothing to do with this. Well, you don't know that yet. Fever blisters is, is the preferred nomenclature. What it's all about. All right, because not all 7-Elevens carry the same selection of hot foods, we went to as many 7-Elevens as we could find in our surrounding area. Burbank! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, and we took note of which hot foods were most widely available, and those are the foods we're gonna be ranking today. And we're gonna be ranking these foods on a scale of, what did they say, seven to 11? Yeah. Yes. You know, seven being the worst, 11 being the best. We're going from, Eventually, you'll vomit, <laughs> nauseating, rather benign. I tend to like it. I 10.5'd to like it. <laughs> a little bit of a stretch on that one. And finally, eventually, I'll stop eating this. Okay, and to help keep our palates cleansed, we will have these mythogulps handy at all times, filled with blue raspberry 7 Eleven Slurpees. Mmm! Round one. I'm hot, tasty, and full of flavor. I'm also full of 73 ingredients, the first of which is chicken product. Oh, chicken product? Yeah, baby. Now let me just say, before we embark on this taste test adventure, you know me, I love everything, and I have a history of eating processed oh things, goodness. but since adulting a lot, I've done a lot less of this, you know? You've been adulting too much My, my wife has, has encouraged me to cut back on eating things like this to have 73 ingredients in a chicken stick. But I am ready to relive a little bit of my past when I used to just go in there and get anything that was rolling on a couple of... Dink oh, it. We're gonna, no. Dink it and... Dink your chicken stick. Dink it. Oh, that is thick. That's a lot of chicken product. Spicy, cheesy. Well, you don't really need the cheese. Mm -mm. I could dip that in ranch. Oh, it's hot. Remember when I said spicy? Yeah, but it took that long for it to hit me. And you and you don't wrap it in a bun or anything. You just eat it out of the out of the sack. Yeah. Huh. Um. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep eating it. I like it. I'm also starving. Uh, so, happy breakfast. I mean, that's good to me. It's making me hiccup. It's so spicy. You're right. It continues to roll in spiciness. Put it on ten. Right. <laughs> Yeah, let's start with 10 and I'm move on. I'm a lightweight. Round two. All right, next up we have the 7-Eleven Steak and Cheese Taquito. Ooh, now, yeah. different 7-Elevens sell Monterey Jack Taquitos, Taco and Cheese Taquitos, Jalapeno and Cream Cheese Taquitos, uh, but all of these were available at the 7-Elevens in our area. You mean these were the ones that were available? Uh, Thank you. These were the only ones available in all of them, yeah. So, and I will say that Matt, who did the, uh, who went out and got these, said that while he was standing in line waiting for these, there was an Australian tourist couple behind him who were wondering aloud, what's the difference between a taco and a taquito? <laughs> we're not even gonna tell you. You wanna, you wanna dip into the cheese? I don't think I need to dip into the cheese. Ooh, cause there's cheese in there. Oh, buddy. I mean, this is more of a, a dish than the chicken log, which is nothing but a log of chicken. This is like, this is a bona fide appetizer situation. It's a full meal. Oh, when I said appetizer, but. How come um, I eat so much more so much faster? And you still talk just as much as me. It must be a sign of intelligence. <laughs> Gosh. Um, I mean, it's better than it's, the chicken. It's line. better than the chicken. I mean, it's better than a lot of things I've had. It might be the best thing I put in my mouth all day. My one critique of it is I don't experience tasting a lot of the meat. Like, if you'd had me blindfolded, I wouldn't, I would say there's no meat in it. It's just, it tastes like cheese. I think your meat, the, the meat part of your tongue must be broken because I definitely taste meat, but I wouldn't necessarily call it meat. 
That might be too gracious. Well, I'm putting it ahead for now. They may yep. shift. Round three. Now this pepperoni pizza does not roll. So to me, the part of the shenanigans of rolling get it is part of the fun of purchasing. Knowing, I like eating something knowing it's been rolling. You, you know, could probably so, roll so, it. So I'm demoting this one even before I bite it. And I do want Really? Wanna, yeah. You okay. don't like a good rolling thing? I mean, I'll say it is a little bit boring because I can get pizza anywhere that sells pizza. You can get a whole pizza at 7-Eleven for five fifty-five. That's getting down in Little Caesars territory. <laughs> <laughs> Little Caesars just went to six bucks for for their for their large. I mean, I don't know if they just did, but I just noticed it on the sign. How'd you even get out of bed this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the mechanics of that insult, but it's basically your whole life depends on the pricing of a Little Caesars pizza. Oh, thanks for explaining your joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going low for me, man. Low? I'm not saying it's gonna make you vomit, but that's, you know. I, I like it. To me, it's, but it's rather benign. It's, it's just, it is benign, but I, I predict it's going all the way to the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and slam it down there. Well, let's say to have a compromise and make it nauseating because it's, I'm not nauseated. Okay. I'm still having a ball. Round four. Okay, this is the signature big bite hot dog. They come in quarter pound or eighth pound. We've got the we got the little one. We got the eighth pound, and we and we got these raw dog. Okay. And so you can decorate your dog with whatever you want. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of mustard. We're gonna do a little bit of relish. You know what? Mustard I don't normally do relish, but. I'm gonna do a little, wow, and you're then living dangerously. I, I was I was gonna put a little bit of um, cheese on there, but I don't think cheese goes with relish and mustard. Well, you haven't been to a 7-Eleven. A few onions, just for the sake of my breath. Dink it, mm, sink it. Not a lot of wiener. Not as much wiener as I wanted. Mm-hmm. That's a small diameter on the eighth of a pound. Sometimes you go in th wanting a lot of wiener, and you're like, what? When you get a quarter so pound, a you've wiener. roughly doubled, just roughly doubled the amount of meat. I'm having to dip this in ketchup, which is a little sacrilegious. I actually like a hot dog that's smaller. You know? Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> it's, um... It makes you feel better about yourself. It's just one part of the entire dish. With, when the hot dog itself gets huge, it, it, it's, it's too much what for me. What does that mean? <laughs> it's too much for me. Um, I, I know you keep trying, but I'm not gonna play along. I'm not trying. <laughs> That's it, the it thing. I'm not, I'm not trying at all. Okay, it's, I, it's just I, a hot dog, though. But you I like crapped the, all over the pizza because like it was the just ratio. pizza. But it's a smaller hot dog, which for me, it still it still rotates, and I like the ratios. I don't think the ratios are. Hold on, hold on now. There's two of us. I, I'm I know just, sometimes you, you can, forget. <laughs> you can move it anywhere you want, but I'm suggesting that I, it goes I, ahead I, yeah, of pizza. It's definitely not better than these top two that are more unique, though. It does roll, but I think most people would prefer a bigger wiener. Round five. Okay, so we've got some beef tacos here. Oh, they're so cute and mini. And there was a tweet from Jalen the man. Oh, I'm sorry, the E-man. <laughs> Walked into a 7-Eleven bathroom and one of the cashiers was eating mini tacos on the sink. WTF. That wasn't a cashier, that was me. <laughs> you, I remember that moment. I didn't know it was Jalen. Now, these are, do you know what these remind me of? The little mini tacos that you get at Trader Joe's, you know, that you get in the pack and you throw them all on there? Mm -hmm. uh, those are usually chicken, though. Should we, I mean, yeah, we never ask, should you dip something in cheese? Just do it. Mm, 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 a little chewy. Hmm. <laughs> That's a, he's allergic to tacos. I think I have taquitos, which are distinctly different, Australia. No. It's a sneeze bag. I was trying to was trying to pop it. I thought that would be I don't really have another sneeze. But... There it is. Hey. Um Oh! That's a good flavor. The beef is a good flavor. It's surprising. Are you tasting the meat now? I am. A lot more meat. But it and doesn't it is... roll. I don't think it's better than that. Let me have the back end of that. You mean the back end and all of the middle? I had to get all the way to the meat. And again, they need to put more of this beef into that. I'm, I'm still missing it. I think they did, dude. It is the same meat. It's mm. a different cheese on the inside. This is a Philly cheese. This is a tough call. These don't look special, but they taste really special. <laughs> they really do, don't you think? 
I I mean, is this a contender for number one? It is. You know what? Let's just put these parcels back up there. Straddled. Because we still got one more thing to taste. Round, Round six. six. Now we have the ultimate hot snack, the buffalo wing. Each one of these has 20% of your recommended daily sodium. So five wings, you get 100% of your sodium, kids. You don't have to eat any anything else the rest of the day. Here it is right here. Now these look good, but they don't roll. Why are we just putting these on the table? Well, I want have, the people have, you, have you seen the things that we've done on this table? <laughs> I mean, I montage. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, no montage. It's kind of like a wing from, I, I would assume, the like, bag. A, like a domino wing, or like a wing from a, a, a takeout pizza place in terms of the way that they're pre-prepared and then heated up. That's not necessarily a bad thing because I actually really like this wing. What um, do you think? I eat a lot of wings and uh, the flavor profile tastes like it was first taken off of a chicken. Okay, then I'm with you on that. <laughs> Then frozen, then shipped. I feel like I can taste the truck. Taste the truck is not a great slogan. Now that you mention it, you're definitely helping me see that. These are not fresh wings, man. Mm -mm. It's not that good. Oh, it, 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 all, that's all it took. First of all, mine are burnt. You well, look great. My first taste was really good. Like I like the sauce on it, but the but the wing itself. Yours are better than mine. Oh really? But still taste. I can still taste the truck. Yeah. Okay. Taste the truck. So if you're into that, in my mind, these are maybe you want to move the pizza all the way down. Yeah. And then I actually I like the hot dog better because I you know I, I like the hot dog. Hey, are we sure about this with the with the chicken log and the hot dog? I definitely am sure. This is, I almost this is, feel like I'd move the hot dog down I mean, further, but where else can you get this? Nowhere that I know of. Let me taste it again. Let me taste it again. It's gotten better. That's what. Okay. So now this is the problem. We're down to this, and there's so little left to taste. Well, so we've got the taco and the taquito. Do you see the difference, Australians? You see how different these are? America's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I. Okay. I don't know. Not much left there. What's that coming out? Meat. The whole not tasting the meat thing, I think your mouth is broken. Here's what I'll say. I think the taquito ultimately tastes better. Me too. But I think that the rolling nature gets me a little excited. And you were the one that was really excited about the rolling nature. I know, I love a good rolling food. Mm. You can get little mini tacos at lots of places. Where else can you get a log that's cheesesteak that's sitting there rolling all day just waiting for you? Maybe yeah. maybe all day and night. This is tough. I feel like it's a draw and I'm gonna let you make the decision but it doesn't really matter because we don't even have any food left to put up there. So <laughs> whatever Let's you want. Let's just decide in our minds. The rolling food wins in my mind. Oh, oh there we go. There you have it. But we don't. <laughs> there it is! In first place, and, and a there, taco. there's a taco. Yes! Boom! This is the official scale of 7-Eleven-ness with the best thing you can get at 7-Eleven being the cheese steak taquito. Woo! And maybe one of the other taquitos, but those are the ones that we tried and we loved them. Conveniently at your disposal. Grab them and eat them. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Matthew. And I'm Lauren. And we're at the North Carolina State Fair about to see Red and Link perform. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Woo! All right. We were there. Woo-hoo! Click the top link to watch us create some all new and potentially awful 7-Eleven Slurpee combos. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Would you like to snag the last remaining forest and farm swag? Yes, you would. Go to mythical.store now before it's sold out forever.